Welcome to F12 MGD News Updates. Greetings to you, dear friends and faithful. The era of global boiling has arrived, announced the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. The July-August months were noted to be the hottest months this year. High tensions, protesting masses everywhere, trading rockets and bombs and defying international laws are adding fuel to the fire. When temperatures are rising, can be peace be achieved? Suffering times. We talk of the climate crisis, but there are many more issues unaddressed by world leaders and big powers. Social inequality, extreme poverty, environmental degradation, pollution and species losses, etc., etc. The latest is the indifference to human suffering, the plight of the innocent and civilians, and the condoned acts of violence against one another. According to Caritas Internationalists, these concerns continue to ravage because of the lack of motivation and political will. The world fails to see that all crises are deeply interconnected, which together they all make up one single crisis called ecological crisis. But these crises still remain as symptoms of a bigger crisis, which is spiritual crisis, crisis of the heart, the broken relationship between God, our global neighbors, and creation. Is it naive to dream of a world together, a united family? There is a way. Caritas Internationalists works hard to overcome the culture of indifference with a culture of care. A thought for the week. God won't ask what kind of car you drove. He'll ask how many people you drove who didn't have transportation. God won't ask the square footage of your house. He'll, he will ask how many people you welcome into your home. God won't ask about the clothes you had in your closet. He'll ask how many you helped to clothe. God won't ask what your highest salary was. He'll ask if you compromised your character to obtain it. God won't ask what your job title was. He'll ask if you performed your job to the best of your ability. God won't ask how many friends you had. He'll ask how many people to whom you were a friend. God won't ask in what neighborhood you lived. He'll ask how you treated your neighbors. God won't ask about the color of your skin. He'll ask about the content of your character. God won't ask how much food you ate. He'll ask you how much you did to feed others. God won't ask how famous you are. He'll ask what you did with what was given to you. The lesson from the blessing. Many of us enjoy many good things in life and we have been blessed beyond measure. The question is, what do we do with our blessings and how mindful are we to help others? Announcements for this week. One, after the recent diocesan pastoral assembly, Malacca Johor Diocese prepares for the clergy discernment in November and the Vicariate Pastoral Councils to take off. Two, the Malacca Johor Diocese calls on all Catholics to declare a time of prayer, fast, 
and abstinence for peace and of wars and the many vic victims every Friday till the 3rd of November. Come together as families, BCs or parish. 3. The Caritas Mlakadur Diocese initiates the first Beyond Borders program for the first batch of young Caritas to work and live with the poor in Cambodia from the 2nd to the 10th of December 2023. You, have, you can expect more opportunities next year onwards. For a two-day Advent formation with Father Jeffrey Plant, Archdiocese of Sydney, on the infancy narratives of the Gospel of Matthew and Luke, to understand the Advent Jesus will take place at Our Lady of Guadalupe Krubo, 17th November, 8 to 10 p.m., 18th November, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., organized by the Mlaka Johor Diocese Biblical Ministry. Entry fee is Ringgit 30. 5. The If Asia or Fondacio Asia invites those aged 23 to 38, discerning their life paths, seeking to deepen pastoral and leadership skills, and prepare for priestly or religious initiation. It is a five-month online self-leadership development, followed by a 10-month on-site leadership development and a two-year internship. Register now. Contact If Asia or, B or Bishop's Office. This week's Q&Q, Q asks, is there more unity and working together today? First, it does not appear to be so. Collectively, there's a shift towards individualism, indifference, cynicism, isolationism, materialism, racism, and uncaring attitudes to others and our common home. Second, Pope Francis says, in today's world, the sense of belonging to a single human family is fading. And the dream of working together for justice and peace seems an outdated utopia. And the Trinity teaches us that one can never be without the other. We are not islands. We are in the world to live in God's image, open, in need of others, and in the need of helping others. Third, we need a culture of encounter, not indifference and individualism. Take time to remember your loved ones who have gone before you. Visit their graves with your children. Teach them the reality of life and death. A blessed All Saints and All Souls Day. Be safe and be well.